Let's start with Easter egg first. So there are no visible changes in Easter egg, but you have to set the time to one o'clock to get a look at Android 13 logo. And there is one more catch here. If you long press anywhere on this Easter egg page, you will get to see different emojis, which looks pretty cool. Android 13 came with some really good notification bar improvements and the first change you will see is the QR code tile in the notification bar. Nowadays QR codes are getting really popular, right? So you have an option to directly access the QR code from the notification bar which is going to be very useful. Another change that you will see is the position of power button and the settings menu which has been moved to the extreme bottom. So when you pull down the notification bar completely, you will be able to see this power button and the settings menu at the bottom right corner. In the notification bar, you will also see a small banner about applications running in the background. Like you see here in my phone, it says that one application is active. And if you tap on it, you will have an option to stop the application. This feature is very useful in case you forget to close any application. Another feature is related to the media or a music player notification. So if you are playing any media, you will be able to see these waveforms in the notification bar as the media progresses, which looks pretty cool. So these were the major changes related to notification bar. Now let's see what other features came with Android 13. Under display settings, a new menu has been added that combines the display size and the text changes into a single panel. So you can make changes to the screen as well as the size and style of the text. This removes the two section settings in Android 12, making things easier to use. Another feature has been added to application information. Now you will be able to change the language for individual applications. If you long press on any application and go to application information, you will see a new language section where you can choose from your preferred language. This feature is only applicable to certain applications, but let's hope that this feature will be extended to all the applications, which will make more sense actually. Next feature is related to copy and paste, and this is one of my favorite features so far. So if you copy text from anywhere, let's say Google Chrome, a window will appear on the screen with the text that you copied. You can simply tap on the window and make any changes to the text before sharing it. This feature applies to images as well. So if you copy any image from anywhere, let me copy any image from Google Chrome again. So you will see this window with the image that you copied. And you can make any changes like cropping, adding text, adding or erasing different colors before you share the image, which is a pretty cool feature. Android 12 came with material youth theming. Well, we still have material youth theming with Android 13, but with some extra colors. So if you head over to wallpaper and style, you will see some extra colors in wallpaper and the basic color section, which is a small but a great customization feature. Android 13 will also give you more control over notifications. Sometimes what will happen is that some applications will send you continuous notifications, which is really annoying. So with Android 13, you will have an option to disable the notification as soon as you open the application for the first time. For example, if I open Flipkart here, you will get a pop-up straight away about allowing notifications or not, which is a pretty good feature. One important change that came with Android 13 is related to lock screen. You will have an option to disable this double line clock if you don't like it. You can simply head over to display settings, then lock screen settings and disable this double line clock. Now you will have a small clock on your lock screen and you will get a clear look at your wallpaper. So that was pretty much everything about the new features that came with Android 13 and I hope I did not miss any features. You can let me know in the comments section if I missed any features and please do let me know if you are planning to update your device to Android 13. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in my next video.